<laughs> How you doing? Oh, it's so good to see you. You know, it's been a while since we've seen you, but uh, it's, we're here now. Sorry about that. It's just, you know, things have been going on. We've got dogs have been growing up. I don't know if you remember this wee lad here, Flynn, but he was a wee lad last time we saw him. Um, but we're back again, and we're going to talk about grooming again. Um, so last time we talked, we talked about the tools that we use to do the grooming. Have some very basic and simple things uh, that, we, that we use. Uh, this time we're actually going to put those tools into action. So what I'd like to do is talk a wee bit about uh, getting the undercoat out using the line combing technique. Uh, it will talk about doing some of the furnishings and those things around here with the dog, back in the tail and back in the pants and those types of things. Um, after that, we'll move on to uh, bathing the dog in the proper way to do that. And then finally, what you'll all be waiting for is swimming in Newfoundland. Uh, that might be a wee bit down the road here, but we'll do it as quick as we can. So let's talk about line combing. So the idea is we take the implement, in this case the combs, that have the widest tines across them. We start with those and then we work our way to a wee bit smaller. Trying to get the undercoat out. We don't want the undercoat pressed against the skin, choking things off. We want it opened up. We want the uh, moisture to get in, the, the air to breathe. It helps out with the skin. It makes it nice and, and shiny. It, it makes the dog healthy. It helps the air conditioning of the dog, the natural things that happen there. So in order to do that, we employ a technique called line common, where we get down to the skin, we get all the undercoat out, and it makes the dog very happy and it really looks a whole lot better too. You can see here that Flynn is a wee bit shaggy. Uh, it's been a while since he's had, he's had a trim here, uh, but it'll be a good for us to go through and we'll see him from kind of start to finish. So let's talk about line combing. So again, the idea here with the line combing is to get all the way down to the skin. Uh, so basically we're going to take it from the dog here. We're going to use our hand. We're going to lift it up, the fur, as much as we can, and we're going to get down to the skin. Now you can see that... Right, right there, you see the skin showing up? That's what we want to see. It might take a few passes to get there, but you just keep slowly going up. Not too hard. It, it's, you don't have to take a lot to do this. Right, we'll just start down again. Slowly going up. Look at that. Look at this. Already coming out. Lots of fur. He's brushed all the time, he's still got fur. Now it's about that time so the blowing caught in the idea is you might make sure you get uh, get all the undercoat out before they start blowing it. You're going to have lots of mats to deal with it. It's not good for the dog at all. There. So basically, you employ that technique. Let's do it one more time. Lift the fur back. You just take the comb, just like that. Trying to get down to the skin. Trying to see down there. Yeah, you can see that. See the skin start to show up there. And you just keep doing that all over the dog. All around the dog. It's done. All right. Take it place, you start here. The whole dog's got to be done, so you might as well just get on it. Go through, back in the hindquarters here like that. It's going to be the same thing. Make sure you're getting the pants out. You know, that's this part of the dog here, the pants. That's what we call those out there. You get a butt there. Oh, look at that. Look at all that in the butt there. All right, you want to make sure you're doing the same thing. Line coming back here, just like that. All right, so once we've done that, we might take another comb. It's got some smaller, sorry about that, some smaller tines. Uh, the, the, the things are a wee bit thinner and that'll get uh, down even a little bit more like a bit if we take it now he's got some loose fur here if we take this we're gonna swipe it across I bet we get quite a bit yeah look at that <laughs> I mean you can see that there it's just it's a lot more that comes out so we'll take this process nice and slow you're gonna have to make a few passes at it uh, we'll go around the dog a couple of times we'll make sure that it's all gone that's the important thing all of the loose coat has got to be gone that's, that's the whole point, is to get it out of there. Uh, make sure you're catching the fur as best you can. It makes a mess if you don't. So I'll put a bag there next to your table, that type of thing. You don't have to have a table to do this. You could do it under the ground. Lot, lots of times we just lay in front of the television and there's definitely uh, brush and they really like that too. So lots of ways to do it. So we've talked about the line combing, uh, kind of a back brush technique, getting all the fur out um, and making sure that the dog's coat is nice and open. Uh, after that, we'll talk a wee bit about uh, the furnishings and then we'll go into bathing. <laughs>